Hi, this is David at Stoneyard.com. Today we are going to be filling these joints with point-in mortar. All right, so we've put the air water barrier on, we've attached the stones with the high bond, we've let that set up a minimum of overnight. We want to remove the spacers. We want to clean off the area, so wet it all down. and then brush it off. Okay, so this is now prepped. So the next thing we have to do is mix up the point and mortar. Finish mixing and we want to check the consistency. It's kind of like a mashed potato, that's good. Check the bottom of the bucket, make sure there's nothing dry. Notice that when I was adding the water, and now that it's fully saturated, you wanna mix it for about two minutes. Then you're gonna let it set for a couple of minutes, they call that slacking the, the cement. And after a couple of minutes of slacking, you can whip it up again. If everything looks good still, then we're ready to fill the bags and uh, start the pointing. So I'm gonna cut this at just a little bit less than a half an inch. And so this bag I already cut and you can see there's a little hole at the bottom. So now I'm ready to, um, I've waited my slack time. And so let me check to see if this mortar is the right consistency. So the way we do that is we take the bag, we're gonna fill in, we're gonna put in just a little bit of the point and mortar into the bag. Okay, and then we're gonna let it flow through the bag. And so you see by shaking it, if it's coming through the bag, that's perfect. All right, okay. so what I'm trying to do is put mortar in all these joints and in through here, okay? So I've got the bag, I'm gonna tighten it up. I've never done this for cakes, but people tell me it's similar to decorating the cake. And I want to fill these joints pretty full. I'm not going to um, get it right out to the face of the stone, but because I want it to be recessed from the face, but I want to put enough mortar in here that I got this face, this face, and I'm about a half inch back, which means that I've got about one inch of the pointed mortar in each of these joints, okay? want the temperature, by the way, to be between 40 and 90 degrees, okay? And it has to stay that temperature overnight for 24 hours, okay? And if it's not going to stay that temperature naturally, then you have to heat the area. So want that's it. We're going to let this dry to its thumb ready, and we'll come back to that here in you know, five, 10 minutes. What we're looking for is like medium rare. So this is about medium rare. You know, this is like rare. So we kind of thumb ready. So you see how when I push on this and it stays in there, if it was too loose, my tool would go right through. So what we're trying to do now is we're trying to just compress this pointing mortar into these joints, okay? So we've got a variety of potential tools. You know, I like this particular tool. Um, I'm gonna just reach for another one. This one here is an awfully nice one that you can kind of quickly strike the joint. And you notice here that when I strike the joint, notice I wasn't getting into that little crack. So, but I flip it over and boom, it's tapered. Probably putting maybe five, 10 pounds of pressure onto these joints because we want the pointed mortar to go all the way back to this cement board. This particular Empress pointing mortar, after 28 days, it's got about 3,000 pounds of strength. So this isn't just a Type S, 
this has acrylic latex and a variety of different ingredients in it. So this is a high, they call it a high strength joint. And, and it's really easy to use. Um, and if you, you, you could not use the, the high bond for jointing, you need to use the pointing mortar. So we don't want the pointing mortar to touch this wood. I know we've got kind of an odd joint here. We'll deal with that later. So those are done. And then the very last step is we're just gonna brush finish this. So instead of leaving any kind of shiny marks or we also are brushing away a little bit of the excess mortar. So you're giving it just a little bit of texture. Okay. And so, and, and please don't get worried. This little bit of pointed mortar that's on the stone or this one that I spilt onto the stone, later when we clean that, that will clean right up. The most important thing is to get this compressed, get this brushed, and in about a week or longer, you could wait two or three weeks, but wait at least a week for this to dry enough that we can use the cleaner and clean this surface. So we filled the joints in between these stones with um, the Empress pointed mortar. This is David at stoneyard.com.